Hi everyone, today I just want to show you this uh, planter like a planter pots but cloth made ones that I have so the sizes that I have is uh, this is one gallon I'll later show you the results in my experimentation <laughs> so this is two gallons this size and this is three gallons and this one is five gallons the biggest that I have in stock now I think is five gallon the seven gallon ones I can't remember if I still got up though I uh, if you want even bigger ones you can also let me know I think I have like very big ones so like 30 gallons or something like that so you can put trees inside so uh, yeah currently it's like one two three five for now and I'll show you some examples that I have okay let's do a tour I start from one corner first so it's more systematic okay um this is a new product I have not yet listed them uh it's more like a flat like a flat uh how's it a flat style so I think it's good for herbs but I'm still experimenting with it lah I haven't but uh, just to show you guys uh, if, if you guys want it you can let me know I think I think the price is like I can't remember the price it's like it's at least um the idea about these cloth bags right is that uh, because it's cloth, so it's actually uh, how to say it allows air to penetrate the cloth and go into the soil. So in theory, it should allow you to have more healthier and better root growth. So yeah, there you go. That's why I use the cloth ones. I think it's I think it gives me pretty good results so far. Um, and also like this is what I saw in the marketing material from my supplier lah. <laughs> So it's a result of marketing as well, but. From what I experimented, I think it works. Uh. So, yeah, I like I like to use cloth ones. Oh, this one has nothing. <laughs> okay, this one, I didn't take care of this one. Like, it's a blue butterfly pea flower. I don't think it needs such a big one. I think this is 7 gallons, if not mistaken. 7 or 10. But uh, I can see a papaya inside. So, mm, I think it can be a good place for the papaya to grow. Uh. So, let's see what happens later on i have some aloe vera in the smaller ones um, yeah so you need to make sure that you don't how to say you need to make sure that you don't gonna soil on your 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 cloth if not that then you, the things may grow on it so yeah it's something to be something to be watch out for so this is my new broccoli i put it in one gallon once so this is one gallon and uh, I think this is like this is probably the two gallon one. Okay, so this is what you need to make sure that uh, how to say it? you need to make sure that your planter thing doesn't doesn't have contact with mud, otherwise it will look like this. So this is what you do under. <laughs> yeah, you need to take care of it lah. It's because it's cloth, my right. So that's the thing. Uh, this is my long bean. This is five gallons. I think long bean doesn't need 5 gallons, so I'm going to try putting long bean into smaller ones. But I just put this to try. Lah. So why I think that this one doesn't need 5 gallons is because it, it takes up more space on top here compared to down there. The roots I think is pretty pretty shallow, lah, so it doesn't need 5 gallons for this one. I think I probably can put it in a 2 gallon, 3 gallon one. So yeah, the trellis, I sell the trellis as well, the trellis is 11 ringgit. So yeah. Mm. It is 5 gallons, so I try to put 2, then 5 gallons, I try to put 1 and see if there's any difference. Yeah, this one fall down later, I fix. Okay, so... This is my mulberry. So mulberry, I put it inside this, this size one. I think this is 7 gallons or... 7 or 10 gallons, probably 7 gallons, because I had a lot of 7 gallon ones. So it's fruiting, you see. So, uh, yeah, so it works. Uh. <laughs> so, um, this is papaya. I think this is 5 gallons. Not sure if it's big enough, but we'll try and we see. This is a uh, lady's finger. I put 3 in 5 gallons. Eh, I think this is not 5 gallons. This is probably bigger. This is like, this is 7 gallons. 3 in 7 gallons. There's two in five gallons. I gonna try and see if there's any difference between them. This is my peanuts. Testing out. Five gallons. 
Seems like it is. Yeah. Seems that way. Uh, I'm not sure what plant is it. I think balsamic or something like that. Okay. Ginger. Five gallons. This one, Moringa. Testing it out in five gallons. My chili is doing well, but uh, it needs support. Hmm. Yeah, got snail. Uh. <laughs> Get rid of it. Okay. Um, this is pretty big. I can't remember how big is it. I think it's ten gallons. But yeah. All right. So my tomato plants. All five gallons. Uh, not yet got fruit. But then you'll see how how well it works. My passion fruit. Not sure why it's not fruiting. I'm trying out putting more fertilizer consistently and let's see. Mm. This is papaya. This is I think seven gallons. No, this is 5 gallons, we are the same size. This is 5 gallons. I think 5 gallons seems too small for papaya. Need to be 7 or more, probably. Mm, Moringa. This is Moringa. Trying it out in 7 gallons, see if it becomes a big tree. My other chili plant. This is the um, I can't remember was it Kungit la Kungit yeah Kungit in seven gallons My new plants that I bought this one something don't know what I can't remember the name is it I think apple bidadari or something like that so trying out this is Patai uh, I heard the seller say that it's a Thai Thai, so it's like a dwarf variety, so it won't become a huge tree, so let's see, not sure. This is a pink lime, testing out, not sure if it will come along. Those are one gallons, uh, putting in some small seedlings, like small groves. So maybe I can sell them later and see how, not sure. Testing out. My mint, this is pure mint. So this is spearmint in in five gallons, five gallons, and this is in my new planter, the flat one. That's what you want to see. This is stevia. I'm not sure it will survive, but that's thing out. This one is a very big, a very big one. I can't remember exactly how big is it. Uh, this one we put the balsamic doing well this one is dill and the size of the pot it looks like five gallons all right this is this is what really a peach of plum so uh, this is seven gallons The I'm trying to rescue this uh, curry leaf plant. Let's see if it survives. But yeah, so there you go for the tour. Um, overall, I quite like the planter, the the cloth ones. Uh, so I'm just gonna continue using them. So if any questions, please feel free to let me know. And uh, if you find this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share. It really helps and take care everyone for watching. Bye. God bless. See you.